Good morning. Today we're going to do a pencil drawing of a covered bridge. And we want to basically, I'm thinking, how do we want to do this? We're going to do an opening right here, I think. We'll do the opening of the covered bridge right there. And we do this right here. Now, as we're doing a covered bridge, we want to keep in mind that we're going to have perspective. Now, if these lines here went on back, they'd go back to about in there somewhere. And they'd intersect. Eh, about in there. Anyway, but our covered bridge ain't going to go that far. Okay, we're going to kind of erase a little bit here. Now, our covered bridge is going to be about that big, I do believe. Now when doing pencil drawings, the good thing is you have an eraser. And you can always correct a lot of things. Now with a covered bridge, you want to leave a little bit of area right in here. Because that's going to be what's going to show through. Now we want to leave a little bit of that right there. That's kind of been opening there. Now, let's say on our covered bridge here, we're going to have a little tree over here. That's where that little tree lives. And we want to put a little bit of limbs out here. This little covered bridge He's all lonely out here. It looks kind of like it's the fall of the year, maybe. Leaves are off the tree. And we're going to make his little limbs be kind of stretch on to wherever they stretch on to. And we might put a little bit over in there. And we want to make them a little darker, and then we want to go with little limbs off that even. But just different little limbs. That's the great thing about creating... Great thing about creating nature. There is no grand perfect in anything. It, you're all cre you're creating your little world. It can be however you want it to be. Now, on the inside of the bridge here, we're going to say that it kind of goes out like this. We're going to make a little road there. Now, on this picture, there's a lot of the background that is going to be left just white. Um, it's negative space and you want to be aware of the colors that or the you want to be aware of um, the shapes that that is because your negative space is very important too that's the the blank space now on our covered bridge here we put lines down through there that's kind of the supports of the bridge. And what we want to do is we just want to go in here and make it a little bit dark. And we want to, you want to make further back darker than what it is as you come on out. So we want our lines just to kind of fade out a little bit as we come forward here. But when you're doing a drawing, it's all in the details. Now we're going to put a little bit of cross hatching here just to make it more interesting in there. A little bit here, a little bit there. We just want to give the feeling of, see how you going back in there and it's darker. And you prob it's probably going to be a little darker up here too. 
and our front here we just want to go like that a little bit and we want to strengthen that a little bit when you're doing a picture like this the two things you have to be totally aware of is negative space and perspective because perspective is how your bridge will look natural okay we're going to go with a few lines here that might go diagonal that just they put extra supports in a bridge to to help keep it to stay up because otherwise it might fall down now some of this right through here we're going to darken a little bit because some of that back in there may not be able to be seen because of the top of the bridge and we want to there we go now instead of doing a lot of detail to the bridge itself we're going to just do some detail work back behind it put some darkness back behind it just to give the feeling that there's a lot back there and we're just going to make it look like that there might be a tree or two back here but the, th the beauty of this is most of your bridge most of the picture in itself is going to actually be negative space um, and that's what will help build your positive space your darker spaces because we're just going to go a little bit down here we're not going to show what this is necessarily we're just going to make it look like something's down there and go up there a little bit now we're going to go over here a little bit as well now I'm going to think there might be an edge to that roof right here so we want a little bit of shadows down here and then we want a little bit of shadows right in here now do you see how the shadows are giving you substance to the bridge and bringing it out now up here we're actually not going to draw much on the roof but we're going to put a we're going to put a little tree back here which is kind of sticking out a little bit above the above, above the covered bridge now we might even put a little bit right in here we might just give the indication that there's a little bit of trees and stuff back in there and we might put a few of them back in here might want to be a little bit darker near the bottom because near the bottom is where the shadows would lay but then we go up there we go creating is a very enjoyable thing and you're creating your little world you can create it how you want it's totally up to you now in our road here we want to there's probably been Uncle Seth and his wagons probably went through here the old um, wire or old um, metal wheels and it might have been a little bit muddy so we want to make some deep tracks and gra Grandma uh, Jacqueline, she she went through there too. She got stuck. And then in future years, they might have had an old Model T go through here. And they might have had numerous automobiles and numerous 
wagons and with horses. And, you know, all of that stuff may have went through here. If, if covered bridges could talk and tell you the history, you'd probably be amazed. It's just something that is a great part of of olden times. Yeah, we're, we're getting it. Now see how the the road kind of disappears into the covered bridge. That's kind of the way you want to do it. Now we might go with a little bit darker over here near the bottom. We want to create some dark spots just to just to bring out the light spots more. And go a little bit more under here. This is a very simple, easy little drawing. But the important thing here is to remember your perspective. Your perspective goes on back here. Your perspective actually goes on back here as well if you go back far enough. But remember your perspective. Remember your white spaces. Make it all look real interesting. Okay, I believe we are getting close. Now we might put we might put a few lines in the side here. Just to give an indication of the old wood siding. We don't have to get it perfect. Nothing's really perfect. Even though sometimes we'd like it to be, nothing's really perfect. Now something here. If you got something dark back here, okay, that goes through there. So you got to make that dark as well. So you want to make that darker. And we want to go with just a few lines up here. And we might go with just a few little squigglies just to give the impression that something's going on down there. But we're not going to do much detail. We might put a little bit of a little bit of dark indications of something. It might be a, a limb, a broken who knows. It it might be something but it's just to give the indication there's something down there. Now, we might go with just a little bit of lines up here just to give the impression that there's a sky. Okay. I do believe we might be close enough maybe to sign this. I think we might have it for now. I hope you come back and visit me real soon.